Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a spoiler movie review on Dinosaur Island that came out in 2014, so if you haven't already seen the film, I recommend clicking away from this video and then coming back to watching this video after you've seen the movie. But anyways, let's get started with this review. So the main characters in this film are two kids. One of them is Lucas, and the other one is Kate. The film starts off with a classroom with kids that are being taught about dinosaurs, which makes me think that they're in a science class and the teacher thinks that Lucas is challenging him on dinosaur facts. So he has Lucas come to the front of the class and ask, why don't you teach the class about dinosaurs since you think you know more about dinosaurs than I do. So Lucas shows his facts on dinosaurs and the classroom ends up laughing at him. And then that's the end of that, of that scene. And then shortly after then, Lucas goes home to his grandparents' house with his mom, and he thinks it's a haunted house from the looks of it. And then while he's exploring a bookshelf, he finds a crystal enclosed in a box, amused. He takes it with him. The adventure begins when he's in a plane. He moves the crystal onto the next empty sea, and it shines. A disaster then strikes the plane, and Lucas finds himself stranded on a gigantic island littered with ghost ships and prehistoric creatures like dinosaurs and others while searching for other signs of life. Lucas eventually hears a radio broadcast in the distance and is drawn into the jungle when he meets Kate, who is apparently from the 1950s, since this is from another dimension. He learns from her that Kate also used to possess a similar crystal like the one Lucas. She gives him a diary, which denotes a survival guide for Lucas. He also meets a, a Sinornithosaurus, who Kate named um, Mimus. Mimus was able to in, uh, imitate any sound he heard at a minor earthquake. Lucas learns that mist arrives with the earthquakes and bring airplanes like one in Lucas arrived from different time including past and even the future. The airplanes are always empty but bring many useful things. When another airplane arrives, Lucas and Kate leave to explore it. They also come across an Edmontosaurus family where they pet a baby one. Then after this, people attack the plane and capture the duo. On their way, they face a gigantic pitch, pitcher plants and Venice flytraps. Reaching the village, they are put in a pyramid-shaped wooden jail. There, Lucas meets another prisoner who sees the crystals in Lucas' hands. He gets surprised and he calls it a Sing Sing Stone. He whistles and becomes of it. A mist forms over the crystal. The mist brings things from time. He says that these stone are in larger form between the twin volcanoes and they are responsible for forming the mist and bringing planes on that island. Lucas concludes that it is a massive piezoelectric crystal cluster which attains its resonant frequency due to seismic activities and creates the portal which can also help him to get back home. He and Kate together escape an opening at the top. Kate frees some large pterosaurs, one which gives them a ride towards the volcano twins, although they have a bad landing when a Tyrannosaurus Rex chases them, Mimus intimidates the roar and scares him away. Again some dromaeosaurs chase after them, but they make their way to the middle of the volcanic twins. Upon reaching the destination, Lucas uses a jar and it fills it with water. He creates the sound required to energize the crystals. Suddenly, one of the dromaeosaurs enters and captures Mimus. However, they manage to beat him but lose their jar. Mimus suddenly wakes up and imitates the jar singing and flies away. The crystals start creating the portal, but Kate says that she will not go back without her diary which was lying in a stone cavity. She insists that without proof, the world will not believe her and Lucas must go into a portal as she will be right behind him. Lucas proceeds. He wakes up in a hospital and hears the news about the mysterious island. Soon, he meets his grandma, who says she prefers Kate as Catherine uh, is so old fashioned. It was revealed that she is actually Kate, whom Lucas met on the island. With proofs of her diary, she receives no a Nobel Prize, award for science and the film ends. Overall, I liked this film. I thought it was pretty good. I rated about a 7 out of 10. But, you know, they could have done a couple of things better, I guess. Maybe showed a few more dinosaurs, made it a bit longer. But the plot and everything was really good. I, I overall liked it. I like obviously watching anything with dinosaurs because, you know me, I love dinosaurs. Also, guys, I hope you guys are all enjoying that I'm finally doing other content other than Jurassic World on my channel. Um, every time I watch a new movie or movies I've already watched, I'm going to be doing movie reviews and also 
like theories and discussions about them so look forward to seeing those and i plan to watch some other dinosaur movies in the future that i haven't seen i get some off amazon and i'm also watching some on netflix and movies that people are suggesting to me like my good friend david suggested i should watch a sentence awake live action movie called alpha which i'll definitely be checking out soon but i mean yeah i mean i like obviously talking about other stuff besides jurassic park i mean jurassic park is my favorite but you will see me talk about other stuff hopefully every Sunday like I've been doing. I'm trying to keep that schedule going. Also, guys, if there's a specific Jurassic Park theory you have or just a movie you want me to talk about, post in the comments down below because I do listen to my fans as much as possible. I do take requests for videos and like other stuff as well. So like if you have any TV show or any movie that you want me to talk about, put it in the comments down below and put what the theory is or what the discussion you want me to talk about is, then I definitely will do it eventually i can't promise i'll do it right away but once i find the time i do plan to listen to my fans and do videos based off what the fans want to see post in the comments down below what movie or tv show you would like for me to talk about also quick update on a video that i plan to do next week and also a quick update on jurassic world survival the fittest season 2 episode 5 which will be the final episode so this episode we plan to make it around 30 to 40 minutes long right now it's around 20 25 minutes so we're almost done we plan to have it out by the end of January to sometime in February. I mean, sometime in February, I'm pretty sure it should be out by then, hopefully. And next week, uh, me and Beaky Go Crazy are going to be talking about the truth about the Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex. So look forward to seeing that on my channel next week. But anyways, tell me, what are all your thoughts on this film? Did you like it or not like it? I'd love to hear all your opinions on this movie in the comments down below. And once again, everyone, thank you for all the support. You guys are all amazing, and I really appreciate all the people who enjoy my content. So get ready to see some awesome content coming very, very soon. To end this video, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my YouTube team, Patrick Wan, my 2D and 3D animator, David Church, the best director I met on Instagram, BK Go Crazy, my very first hardcore Spinosaurus fan, Zane Schiller, my first friend in the Jurassic Park community on Instagram, Anthony Ellis, my drawer who draws epic background pictures that I use in some of my videos, Rafley Sarager, my comedian since he makes me laugh the most, and Animal World, my best dinosaur friend in real life. If you're interested in any Spinosaurus the King merchandise that I'm selling on my Patreon, the link will be in the description. I'm currently selling t-shirts based off the animations that me and Patrick make, which costs $40 to $50 per shirt. Sweaters are a bit more expensive, unfortunately. Coffee cups are about $32 per one. I'm also selling custom Photoshop pictures to use for whatever you need, some for which is $5 per one. If you're a fan on my discussion videos and wish to be on one discussion video a week of your choice for 35 minutes for the discussion video that will cost $15 a month it'll be basically like we talk about whatever you want if you wish to support me to get better content from me then contact me through my email or other social medias to talk about it if you wish to have a 10 second cameo of getting eaten by a dinosaur of your choice in upcoming animations that will cost $5 a month to appear in each upcoming animation Receiving deleted scenes of previous animation films is $10 a month, which will give you a concept art and deleted scenes about two a month. Me and Patrick have our own website where we talk about our series Jurassic World Survival of the Fittest and where we also post concept art of our upcoming projects. And we also post Jurassic Park dinosaur theories. Like for example, we have the Spinosaurus the history of it and we also have jurassic world starting on size remaster coming soon and future projects will be posted on our website so if you're interested in reading jurassic park fun theories and to speculate come check out our website also if you guys wish to join my discord server to chat with me about jurassic park and other stuff you're more than welcome to just remember to be respectful and polite the link will be in the description below to my website and my discord 
If you're enjoying the content on my YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything new. Leave a like and a friendly comment. If you have any friends and family who you think would enjoy my content, please share this video with them and also my YouTube channel too. And don't forget to do the exact same thing for my YouTube team and have an amazing day everyone.